Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. I believe in the saying that when there's a way, there's a will. Meaning that a person who desires something will find ways no matter what obstacles that may come along the way. I remember that 10 years ago, when this backyard was nothing, it was unproductive. Then I decided to buy these adjacent properties so that I can extend my breeding facility for my fish. Since I do not have money to develop this property, I decided to breed different types of fish in a massive scale. I started with breeding betas. And it was followed by the breeding of guppies and then mollies and goldfish. A little later, I also breed Japanese koi and quality goldfish. All these fish now are my source of income. As the days went by, I am slowly becoming an expert in this field. I produce on a commercial scale and was able to generate an income out of my hobby. of my diligence, I was able to save money and bought these adjacent lots. Then I started developing more fish pans. I made more concrete boxes for my fish. I also developed the new lots that I bought by means of filling it with soil. I can still recall the excitement during those times. We are hurrying this up because we are going to flatten the, the ground. This is my first time to operate this heavy equipment and it's good, it's fun. And then I started with breeding my catfish. At first it was really really hard but I did not lose hope and believe that someday I will be able to raise thousands of catfish. As we speak today, we are literally counting tens of thousands of baby catfish that we produced. We are now a proud supplier of baby catfish in our place.
I became very fascinated also in breeding quails, but I had encountered so many obstacles for this project because during the night, the predators like the cats and lizards are eating my birds. But since, as I said, where there's a will, there's a way, I was able to address the problem. Now, we are the leading producers of quail chicks in our city. My breeding of these African lovebirds had been so challenging. I bought a couple of birds a year ago and I dreamed to breed them on a massive scale. It was difficult for me at the very start. I tried to really understand the behavioral patterns of these birds and later I was able to breed them successfully. I would like to say something about the success on how to go about this breeding. Well, you will see that this is a big cage and there are many birds breeder inside. And I'd like to tell you that we have now uh, 30 pairs. All of them are 60 uh, pieces of lovebirds that are here, excluding the four babies that we had just newly released here. So these 30 pairs are proven, meaning that they have gone through this natural pairing. And this is very important. We don't have to put in the breeding cage extra male or extra female because that will create, you know, chaos. So we have to put in here the breeding cage complete pair, proven pair, so that they will not disturb each other. Breeding parakeets had been an easy task. These small birds are not delicate and sensitive. The massive production of these birds would just largely depend on the kind of attention that we gave on them. Now, we are doing a good business out of our parakeets. And about our parakeets, well, I'm so satisfied with what we have done. We have hand fed also some of the parakeets and it gives us good uh, results. Uh, some of them are already here flying and they become matured already. But this one is the only one left among the babies that we have hand fed. And you know, in breeding parakeets also, you will become successful if, of course, the environment is also very conducive for them. We have choices here. We have the clay pots. But you look at the downside of the clay pots. It's already been broken. I'd like to say that the long-lasting nest box for the parakeet should be this, uh, this bamboo. And this bamboo is already good if you don't have clay pots, if you don't have this coconut husk. The bamboo is one of the best options that you can use for your parakeets. So we already have sold some of our, you know, our produce and, you know, it gives us uh, just uh, an income to feed them. And the profit that we can gain out of this is the joy of, or the opportunity to take care of them and produce them. So it gives us some peace of mind contentment and satisfaction in life. If you are really a hobbyist, then you will know 
what I am talking about. The cockatiels are quite difficult to handle, but I never stop doing some research in order for me to succeed. Out of patience, willpower, and perseverance, I have now produced several heads of these cockatiels. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful morning. So guys, we are here inside in the case of our cockatiels. I would like to make an update about the babies. They are really very amazing. They have grown fast. That it's already very adorable to see. You know, I would like to get some, maybe the three of them. Oh, this very fat and beautiful cockatiel. Mm, you dance. I know you can dance. Dance. Oh, just like that. Another baby is here. Oh, wow. You see? Look at the sun. Wow. Pets are lovely creatures. They gave me some good vibes and inspiration. They make me happy whenever I encounter difficulties in life. These broiler chickens, turkeys, and geese are not the exemption. I love to feed them every day. Early in the morning, I enjoyed watching them while having my coffee. They are so responsive and very dependent for food. The amount of inspiration that I feel whenever I see new babies born from my pets are just overwhelming. They are for me a symbol of life that all of us must appreciate. I will invite you to please continue to like and share our videos and I would like to make a shout out to the members of this channel and to those who are regularly viewing our uploads, thanks a lot. And to those ones who have made comments, thanks also a lot. You just don't know how you inspired me. And I would like to see you in my next video. Only here at Dexter's World!